Hello everyone, I'm Mike Moliterno. Welcome to the TGIF Report. Well, anyone who knows me will tell you that I have issues and that they are legion. I am cranky, impatient, and have a bit of OCD just to name a few. But at least one of my issues is a benefit to humanity and that is my mid-July issue. I'm disappointed in that joke too. But it doesn't change the fact that the mid-July issue is possibly the greatest thing to happen to humanity since David Hasselhoff sang on top of the Berlin Wall. gets me every time. So anyway, let's get into this giant leap for mankind. The first thing I want to draw your attention to is this survey on page 9, which is part of our Brain Gain program sponsored by the Mahoning Valley Manufacturers Coalition, the Moransky Companies, and Sweeney Chevrolet Buick GMC. The survey of 1,000 students from across the country finds at least a third are changing their plans for the future because of the coronavirus pandemic. As for higher education, a significant number of students say they are now planning on attending community college to save money or are planning to take a gap year. 54% reported having a parent that was laid off, which is affecting the amount they can save for college. As far as career plans, 29% say they're considering fields where remote work is possible and layoffs are less likely. Some local students who are in the midst of taking that next step can be found on the following page in this two-page spread showcasing the 2020 recipients of the Edward J. DeBartolo Memorial Scholarships. The award ceremony took place June 19th at Stambaugh Auditorium. Congratulations to all the winners. Now, if you are watching this and live in Ohio, then you'll want to check out this story on page 14 that comes to us from Your Voice Ohio. The group held a series of forums over the last two years to find out what Ohioans like and dislike about their state and where they see room for improvement. Take median household income, for example. When adjusted for inflation, median household income among white households in the U.S. dropped $663 from 2000 to 2018. In Ohio, it's down $3,870. The numbers are even worse for black households. The median household income among black households in the U.S. fell by $3,026 over the last 18 years, but in Ohio, it fell by $5,375. In the financial services section, we have several stories of interest, such as this one on page 22 about navigating turbulent markets. There's also a section on how to pick the right financial advisor for you. Then on the next page, we have this story about Rockbrook Business Services, a new firm looking to build a foundation for black wealth in the Youngstown area. And as always, the issue includes the latest real estate transactions, financial rates, and our valuable business strategies content. For a limited time, you can check out this content for free with our e-edition preview, or you can subscribe and have it delivered right to your door by clicking subscribe at businessjournaldaily.com. That is all for this week's TGIF report. I'm Mike Moliterno. See you next Friday. 717 Credit Union, business services designed to meet your daily needs. Commercial loans, business deposits, merchant and payroll services. 717 Credit Union, it's knowing you were treated right every time.